plants. We have got something really important for you to trap all of the things that can make being outdoors uncomfortable. I'm talking about flies and mosquitoes and bumblebees and stink bugs and all the things that are gross and nasty that make being outside when it's warm unpleasant. Now, this is not a bug zapper, it's a bug trapper. It's going to draw those insects in and then a fan draws them down into a collection chamber where they cannot escape and they simply expire. This is a very, very easy way for you to use or to use around your home. And I'll tell you, a few years ago, I got my first Dynatrap, plugged it in, and it worked. And I'm gonna stand here today telling you from my own personal experience that this machine is awesome. It does its job and you will be very, very happy. Scott Hind is back with us, one of our problem solution specialists. How many years for you on QVC? 18 years now. 18 uh, years. Uh, back, now there are two versions of this, Scotty. Yes, sir. We've got an acre, mm -hmm. which is designed to cover an acre size uh, home or plot of land. And then we have a half acre. It's also important to know that this is sale price tonight, clearance sale price. We have never ever offered the acre under a hundred bucks before oh. tonight. This is an amazing machine. Scotty, first tell us what we're gonna get. Yeah. And then let's get into how this works. Yeah, so what you get is the unit itself. And when it comes to insect elimination, we're talking about the bad guys now, the mosquitoes, the stink bugs. There's no better way to do it than the Dynatrap way because what you're getting here is a way to eliminate those nasty critters without the use of chemicals, without zapping, and without an expensive, intrusive exterminator. So what draws the bugs to the Dynatrap? Fantastic question. So it's a combination of things. You have the UVA light, all right? And for some reason, you and I look at a UVA light and we just see a light. For whatever reason, insects look at it and they think the buffet is open, it's time to feed. <laughs> also in to on, 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 on that, it's not hot, but there's a little bit of warmth that creates and emits carbon dioxide. The same carbon dioxide that comes off of us. So mosquitoes, sense that carbon dioxide, they get drawn in. And then what happens is there's a powerful fan that sucks them down in, okay? And then what they do is they get caught in this oversized container and then they expire. On top of that, we provide you with um, two attractor lures. They're even more interesting to insects. They draw them in, they check in, but they don't get out. And the smell of those little lures is irresistible to the bugs. Mm -hmm. Now, right down here, Scotty, we're going to get two packs of the... Um, attractor lures, yep. Attractor lures, mm -hmm. and then two sets of bulbs. How long do the bulbs last? Each set of bulbs lasts four months. So you get three totals times four months is a year total's worth of runtime. Okay, okay, now in the acre version, over next to you is called tungsten. That's correct. And then beside the tungsten is this beautiful green. Here's the color I have at my house. This one is called copper. And then I have it for you in the stone. These are all the acre versions. Where should we place the Dynatrap for optimum uh, success? Great question. So you want it about 20 to 30 feet away from where you sit. So say, for example, I have a patio, a deck in the back of my house. Sure. About 30 feet away from that patio is a shepherd's hook. I have the stone hanging on a shepherd's hook back there. What you want is all these nasty critters to get attracted away from where you're sitting, and they will get attracted there, and they will get eliminated. That's the thing. I've, you asked how long I've been here, it's 18 years, and I can look you in the eye and look you in the eye at mm. home and say this is one of the five best lines or products I've ever represented because the very first time, like you said, you empty out this container and see all those mosquitoes, stink bugs, flies, wasps, horn, all the nasty ones, you will understand that they're the things that are not flying around your family anymore and it just makes you feel better. So here's the acre version, here's the half acre version. If you're not sure, do we typically size up? Yeah, well, here's the, it's sort of the conundrum. So the house sort of acts as a wall. Right. So truth be told, I have an acre in the back and an acre in the front, but I do not have more than an acre of property. So if your house sits way back in your property or way front in your property, an acre's good. But if you want to split it up, you can go half acre, half acre on each side, if that makes sense. And the half acre will come with, again, two sets of bulbs and the attractor lures, but I have only the copper, the green, and the tungsten. Now, if you are uh, buying the half acre, this would be $189.99 at retail. Tonight, we are $59. You're saving $131. You go with the acre tonight, 
289.99 to 90 at retail. Our price is 99 bucks. You're saving $190 tonight. We've got, I think, a graphic of what this attracts. Yes. So it, well, there's where they can Well, that's attract. where they hide. And I yeah. think we also have um, the only, kinds of bugs that this is going to grab. That's correct. It only takes about a cup of water for mosquitoes to breed. And they last about 30 days, and they breed three times at 200 eggs apiece. So think 600 eggs per 30 days times 600 times 600 times 600. That's where you would find them in that, those little areas. That's just mosquitoes. But on top of that, it also eliminates stink bugs, wasps, hornets, flies, and I'm missing one. Mosquitoes, flies, wasps, wasps and hornets, moths. stink bugs, and moths. And if you have ever battled any of these things outside your home in the summertime, this has been tested to lure and trap all of them. I use this at my house and it works. I don't light those smelly candles anymore. I don't spray that nasty, stinky bug repellent on my skin anymore. This does the job. How long do I let this run? So it's going to depend on where you live. If you live in Florida, in a warm area, you're going to want to run this 24 hours a day. And remember with the replacement bulbs, that gives you a year's worth of runtime and bug elimination. Now, if you're like us here in the Northeast, season is about four months long. So eat, that's about one replacement bulb, so that's three years worth of runtime. It just depends on where you live. And, and real quick to that point, now's the time, David. Yes. Because we've had a very mild December, very mild winter. Mm. We've already been over 50 degrees multiple times. You want these out now. We've sold out of two of our choices. The half acre copper is now gone. Oh, is this one plugged in? Uh, see? Yes, sir, it is. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, we're there's a lot of cords down there. I we're going to run some tape, and then we're going to come in and get it. And we've also sold out the tungsten. Okay, the got it. In the acre? Okay, got okay, it. Okay, so we'll run some tape here, and you'll narrate for us while our crew comes in and starts unplugging. Yeah, absolutely. So, obviously, we all know what it's like to sit around on your deck, your patio, your porch, and swat bugs away. It's miserable, especially if you're entertaining. They fly into your wine. And these are the nasty ones, David. I think it's really important to mention. These are not pollinators. These aren't butterflies that are pretty. These aren't, you know, honeybees that are extremely important. These are wasps, hornets flies, stink bugs, mosquitoes. They get drawn in and then the fan sucks them down into the oversized collection bin. That's why it's the XL and they expire. And then there's two flaps in there that keep them in there. So the only time you ever see them again is when they've expired and you dump them in the trash. And it's the most rewarding feeling because we know how nasty mosquitoes are. We know what they do. We know all the things that they can do to Here's us. Here's the other thing. You do not have to wonder if this is working because when you look in the trap down below, you're going to see it working because you're going to see the dead bugs in the bottom of the trap. And I'm going to tell you, once you start understanding how much is catching, you're understanding what a really, really smart choice this was. Now, what have you here? This is horrible, and I'm sorry for any of you who just ate dinner, maybe on the West Coast, but this was just two weeks here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, last summer, okay? Our good friend Sean Pickford, this sat out in his yard. This is what he collected in two weeks with the dynasty. That's what's not around your pets. That's what's not around your family. That's not what has all the nastiness that's associated with. These are all expired. They're gone, but the most important thing, David, is they're gone without using harsh chemicals, right. without zapping, without using smelly candles, or without hiring intrusive, expensive exterminators. Do you know what flies do when they land on your food? Mm. I saw a microscopic video of a fly landing on fruit salad. Do you know what the fly does when it lands on your food? We just shoo it away and think that's the end of it, right? You know what the fly does when it lands on your food? It poops. I know that you don't talk about it at cocktail parties and you don't admit it to your Aunt Clara, but it's true. And so this is going to attract all of those things. Get them away from your food, from you, from your family, from your pets, and trap it inside. We have never done the one acre size, this big guy, for under $100 before tonight. This is a huge clearance price opportunity. Now, when you see clearance and you know it's going away, you may be asking yourself, is Dynatrap going away? No, no, no just this model. And we can't get a reorder on this model, so what we're doing is asking you to take advantage of our great clearance price tonight, help us clear our inventory so we can bring in new goodies from Dynatrap. There's an awful lot going on with the warm months just beginning, 
This is your chance to trap all those bugs. This is copper, the color I have at my home. I have 300 in the one acre copper. Oh, goodness. In green, still good in green, and stone. Stone is most popular in the one acre. In the half acre, I have only two colors remaining, the green and the tungsten. And we're last call now on that tungsten half acre. Sure. Now, it's important to know that this is getting it to you just at the right time. You heard Scotty say, get this home, plug it in, leave it plugged in. The first summer I got mine, I got a little nervous about leaving it plugged in. And I remember the president and owner of Dynatrap was here that day. Yeah. And when I bought mine that day, I said to him, how long can I leave this running? He said, David, leave it out in a hurricane. Mm -hmm. I left it out in summer thunderstorms. I left it out in boiling hot heat. I left it out in cool spring rains. No problem. It just keeps doing its job. It emits this beautiful, nice, very pale blue light at night. Looks almost like a night light. Yep. And it works like a charm. Let's take a look again at what this is going to attract. Because imagine this summer you being free of these pests. Take a look here. Yeah, these are the nastiest of the nasty. They literally have no biological value whatsoever. If these were eliminated completely from the earth, nothing would change in the food chain whatsoever. Mosquitoes, flies, wasps, hornets, stink bugs, and moths. But what you're not seeing there, David, are butterflies, honeybees, the things, the insects that we need. This gets rid of the nasty of the nasty that have no purpose out there. It does that quickly, effectively, and without the use of chemicals or zapping. Here's how it works. You see them? Go ahead, David, I'm sorry. I was just gonna give you a quick update. Uh, tungsten half acre has sold out. Okay. We have sold out of the half acre. 1,600 now gone in this presentation. Lots and lots of you are making your choice now. And what I don't want you to do is wait because at a deal like this, at a clearance sale price like this, these are starting to move and people are realizing, wow, a summer without mosquitoes, mm. a summer without flies. They call stink bugs stink bugs for a reason. <laughs> Have you ever smashed a stink bug? Yeah. They stink bad. And you I, don't, mm. Yeah, I became a member of the Dynatrap family about two years ago. Yeah. Okay. The highest compliment I can pay this company and this product is that they're very generous. And so they gave me one to work with when I started representing it. And I loved it and I put it out. That same unit has been out the entire two years, never brought it in once. I, with my own money, went out and purchased another acre one for the front yard and a half acre one for the garage. And I'll tell you why. The way my house works is our garage is really our point of entry into our home. So I have a half acre sitting up on a shelf in my garage. And what I've found, my personal opinion is, all of the nasty bugs and insects get attracted to that. And I find that less personally, less come into my home through the door. So I really, if you're able to do that, especially as affordable as it is, get a half acre for your garage. It has worked like a charm for me. And you use that inside your garage? Inside my garage? Inside the garage. And then I have two outside. And like you said, when you go and empty this, it is the, you see the difference. It is. Yeah, you won't have to wonder if it's working. You'll know it's working because you're gonna see the results in the collection chamber. Now I have only three colors left in the acre version. I have the stone, which Scott is showing you. That's our most popular. Green in the middle and then the copper. Now, if you want that copper in the one acre, I have fewer than 300 left. If you want the half acre, I have only one color remaining, and that's the green. Now, if I have a shepherd's hook at home, these are designed to be, um, you can use the shepherd's hooks to hang these in the backyard, right? That's exactly correct. It's just on this hook right here, and it's no problem. This isn't something that's ultra heavy that's gonna bend the hook or pull it down. It's nice and easy to use, and that's exactly how I have it. So I have one in my garage up on a shelf, the half acre, and then I have two acre ones on shepherd's hook on either side of my home. Now, I do not have an acre of land, just under. And what I'm doing is a little bit overkill. So you could put a half acre on each side of your home and be in good shape as well. Sure. I just hate insects so much that I want to make sure I wipe them all out. I also love to entertain in the summertime. I love to barbecue outside and have friends over. And I love to be able to um, know that I can have everyone outside and not feel like everyone's doing this and, and doing this and chasing after flies and shooing the pooping flies away from their hamburgers, right? Come on. So this is what it's all about. Not until I tried this was I confident enough to invite people over and not have to worry about putting out those smelly candles or four or five bottles of bug spray, right? Or hiring one of the